It's Jennifer, and I have for you this day in history, June 23rd. In 1972, Title IX was enacted. In 2013, Walinda makes Grand Canyon crossing on high wire. In 2018, Thai soccer team becomes trapped in a cave. <clears throat> 1956, Gamal Abdel Nasser elected president of Egypt. In 1989, Tim Burton's Batman is released. In 1934, even without the corpse, a murderer is uncovered. In 1992, Mafia boss John Gotti, aka Teflon Don, sentenced to life. In 1972, H.R. Halderman encourages Nixon to ward off FBI. In 1940, Hitler takes a tour of Paris. Hmm. And let's go on to our word of the day. Our word of the day is firstling, F-I-R-S-T-L-I-N-G. It's a noun, Old English, date unknown. It means the first archaeological produce or animal offspring of a season. Examples in a sentence. The sheep's firstling was adorable. Eggplant was the firstling of the spring season. Interesting. Let's see. An interesting fact. Oregon is the only state whose flag has a design on both the front and the back. Many U.S. state flags have some strange quirks. The Virginia flag, for example, contains some tasteful nudity. Wow. And Maryland's flag, a concoction of red crosses in black and yellow block patterns, looks more at home on a medieval battle flag, battlefield than on a 21st century, than in 21st century Annapolis. But Oregon has one of the most unusual state flags of them all. True, at first glance, it looks relatively unremarkable. Emblazoned with the phrase, State of Oregon, on top in 1859 on bottom, the blue and gold flag displays 33 stars, representing its admittance as the 33rd state of the Union in, in 1859. These five pointed stars encircle Oregon's state seal, which features an ox and wagon traveling the Oregon Trail, while other natural elements, including trees, mountains, and the Pacific, can be seen in the distance. An eagle is perched atop the vignette for good patriotic measure. But what makes the flag stand out among all other 49 state flags is that it has a separate image on the reverse side, a giant golden beaver, one of the state's symbols, and an important animal in Oregon's history, thanks to its role in the fur trade. Many flags used to have different images on the front and reverse sides, but the cost and complexity of manufacturing two-sided flags led to an array of single-sided redesigns. Oregon became the last state with a two-sided flag after Massachusetts changed its banner in 1971. However, it shares some camaraderie with the South American country of Paraguay, the only nation in the world with a two-sided national flag, based on the French tricolor, but arranged horizontally. The obverse side of the flag features the country's national coat of arms, while the reverse displays the seal of the treasury. That was interesting. Let's see. Another bit of interesting information. Bees can recognize human faces. Humans have known about bees for a long time. 8,000-year-old cave paintings in Bacor, Spain, show early humans scaling trees to collect honey. But modern scientists wanted to know if bees recognize us, which is why researchers have put the insects' microscopic brains to the test. In a 2005 study, honeybees were trained to memorize pictures of human faces by scientists who rewarded them for correct matches with droplets of sugar water. While a bee's eye view isn't as clear as our own gaze, the buzzing insects were able to correctly differentiate between faces up to 90% of the time, even two days after first seeing them and when the sweet incentives were removed. 
the emerging research into bee brains shows that not all living creatures need the complex brain systems humans have in order to recognize and recall environmental differences. But some researchers say that's not entirely shocking. The Apes mellifera, aka European honeybee, can visit up to 5,000 flowers in one day, distinguishing between buds that give off uh, boku nectar and those that don't. So it makes sense that bees have some form of working memory. And unlocking how the bee brains work has practical applications for both us and them. Tech developers may be able to fine tune artificial intelligence systems in part by understanding how such tiny brains work so efficiently and etymolo entomologists can better focus on supporting those crucial insects wow, which are responsible for an estimated of 80% of food crop pollination that was interesting to me <clears throat> your quote for today comes from Rockwell Quint Rockwell Kent these are the times in life when nothing happens but in quietness the soul expands. These are the times in life when nothing happens but in quietness the soul expands.